If you have heard of this movie before, you are one of two things. A massive Shailene Woodley fan or a freaking legend. That or you're just like me and you had a sister who watched movies. Hey there and happy holidays you guys. As I stated earlier in a video, I'm trying to put out three reviews around Christmas that I feel are about movies that don't get as much attention for the season, but fit the holiday that I think you guys might have a fun time with. Today we're going to continue that with a movie that goes way back in my childhood and has some very special roots. Let's get talking about it. Felicity, an American Girl Adventure, was directed by Nadia Tess. It was released in 2005 and stars Shailene Woodley, Kevin Zegers, and John Schneider. And here, a young girl in 1775, just before the American Revolution, finds herself wanting to do more. She wants to step out, but not follow necessarily all the rules of society at the time. And she finds herself in many things taking place both to the war with friendship, her family, and a horse. But with Christmas coming up, and her mother, and now pregnant with a new child of the family, Several things are going to take place that will cause growth in this young girl's life. I'm not really sure if many people know about what Felicity and American Girl of Picture is. The only reason I knew of it was I had an older sister growing up who watched this on the WB network when it originally premiered as an American Girl movie. In case you don't know, for a little bit of backstory, the American Girls are a line of dolls and stories for girls that basically were created with different ones for different eras, different generations, ethnicities, things like that and it tells the story of life in those eras. And around 2004, they released their first movie in Samantha, and Felicity was their second one. I, though, always, even though I was a boy, really enjoyed this movie for three main reasons. One, I've always been fascinated with the colonial era. I think it's quite good. This movie also, I feel like, has a greater feel to it. It felt a little bigger than Samantha. And three, I had a crush on Shailene Woodley, admittedly. And still kind of do. But that's not actually the point. The point of this actually is the fact that Shailene Woodley in here is on top-notch performance despite the fact she's at such a young age. This is her very early in her career doing a TV movie but landing a very solid performance. And I think this movie is underrated, not talked about, and has looked over way too much in her career and today I want to explain why this movie is worth your watch. Felicity and American Girl Adventure is quite the family movie. It is very good and I think it has enough in it to satisfy everyone in the family and it has a strong holiday theme in it as it wraps up at Christmas time in typical holiday fashion. Now, the main thing I think that really gets overlooked to this movie is not just Shailene Woodley's performance, which is superb. Now, also on Shailene Woodley's performance, she's supposed to play a 10-year-old in here, but she was actually 14, almost 15 during the filming. So for me, I always just kind of throw that in my brain. I kind of just look at Felicity as being maybe a 14-year-old. And something random I want to say, her relationship with Ben in here, played by Kevin Seegers, was my first time I shipped anyone. I always believed they were a thing, and I still believe that to this day when I watch the movie because Kevin Seegers was 16 and she was my 15, and I don't know. That was the idea growing up. But the main reason I think this movie really does succeed is that it takes a very American era, an era that we are all very proud of, and puts it into perspective with younger eyes so that younger people can watch this movie and be interested because Felicity is a very strong-willed person and as crazy as it sounds for a, just a minuscule ch children's TV movie she has flaws and she's a very well-written character because she makes decisions similar to what you might make at that age because she believes it's right that is a very big theme of this movie is Felicity doing what she believes is right and because of that she has growth that needs to take place in this movie meanwhile Ben in here wants to go off and fight in the upcoming pending revolution, but he is still an apprentice to Felicity's father, and he has that obligation, and this causes, you know, inner conflict for him, and then she has her grandfather, and her family are not, they are patriots, and the family for her, father, her grandfather's side are loyalists, and this shows you how that plays out in a more or less soap opera way and a more understanding fashion. This movie has a lot to it that really drives it forward. Also in here, there are sequences of action and riding. There is obvious stunt double usage for Shailene Woodley because she could not ride perfectly in this movie. She could only do like trotting and things like that. But those sequences themselves are great. Another thing about this movie I think is really good is the score. For a TV movie, this movie has a very iconic score for me. I hum it a lot and I still disappoint there's no soundtrack version of this somewhere to get because I really love the music in here. It's by Chris Hayen. 
He was a little known composer. He's done a few TV projects and did a few cinematic movies, but not much. He really dedicated himself to this, and I like how the score turned out. This movie is shot beautifully, where it does suffer. I believe there's some scenes that play out a little corny sometimes in here, and the editing is pretty shoddy at times. It's nowhere near as good as it really should be. But also another thing that's added in is Felicity's relationship with her friend, who is an English immigrant, played by uh, Katy Perry. And here is just like a mom, Katy Henny, I'm sorry, I said Katy Perry. That's a big deal because she's English and this is on the verge of the revolution. So basically for me, I think this movie plays so many strengths so well. And despite the fact this movie is about 90 minutes max, it covers all this and flushes it out perfectly well. And the charm of the actors, the charisma of them, and how they are able to give their line deliveries, and they carry this movie on their shoulders because of that, but it's done extremely well. I love Felicity and American Girl Adventure, and I have watched it recently too, even as an older full-grown man, because I still have a connection to this movie that I really like. I would recommend this for the family to watch. It's a really good movie, it's enjoyable, and I think there's even something in it for boys because of the character of Ben. So. Go check out Felicity and American Girl Adventure. I'm going to give Felicity and American Girl Adventure a 7 out of 10. So thank you guys always so much for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll see you all next time. And happy holidays.